Today we have a Bugatti Devo being delivered to my house. To my house. Whoa, Mo, he's back in my videos and guess what? He's taking delivery. Whoa. And you know Mo is super serious when he's taking delivery of another car. No, I'm not lying. And this one, this is way more expensive than the Devil 16. I'm not lying. More expensive and more real. I mean, look at Mo. He's he's standing right in front of it. There it is, the Bugatti Vivo, our brand new car. I mean, well, he's he's standing right next to it. That, that's what I meant. I mean, look, the Devil 16, it's it's only $2 million and okay, it didn't quite meet its February production deadline, but it's going to be next year, hopefully in February. I'm sure it's real. But the Devo, the Bugatti Devo, that is 5 million euros. And you know what else? You've got to buy a Bugatti Chiron first in order to get in line to buy a Devo. Now that, that's some serious coin. That's That's definitely bigger than like my monthly allowance or actually all the money that I actually have. But the Bugatti Devo, that is five million euros. And guess what? That's a lot of money. So you kind of got to stack these up before you can actually get a Devo. Okay, definitely a little out of my budget, but I must be jealous, right? Because all of the internet commenters, all the 13 year olds say, I'm just jealous because I can't afford it. Like, you know, I can't really afford a jumbo jet. So I must be jealous. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's it, that, that's how it works. Hey, let's not just get my opinion. Let's talk to these guys who saw the Devil 16. They're standing right next to it, right here. So you've seen the Drake video that it's in, right? You should get a refund. <laughs> Honestly, stick to his yellow laugh Ferrari because this, it's like a something out of GTA 5. So what is the Devo? So it's 77 pounds lighter than the Chiron. It's got a couple more horsepower and apparently it is more of a handling focused kind of machine. It does have a completely custom bodywork that's totally separate from the Chiron. And the bad news is there's only going to be 40 of them. I wonder how many have been sold already. They've all, they've all been sold? I, so I, okay, so it doesn't matter that I can't afford one. We are actually taking delivery of one of the first ones in the entire world. I'm not lying. So they've all been sold. So it's amazing that Mo has the first one. I mean, he's taking delivery. I think so far there's only two that have been like out. Oh, oh, so there's, so there's, there's just two of them. So Mo, Mo has got the exclusives. I mean, this dude, he has got so much access to these cars. The fact that there's two of them and he's got one or his friend has one. I mean, I'll give him credit. He does say that it is his friends that he's taking delivery of. Oh my God, there it is. Whoa, whoa, guys, this is the second car, whoa. So there he is, he's standing in front of it. It must be like the second car that he's standing in front of. Oh, I mean, next to it. That's the second car that he's, he's standing next to it. You're sitting in the only Devo in the world. Okay, well, hey, let's give Mo the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they've already made the second one and that's the one that he's taking delivery of. When's the second one gonna come, come out? Uh, we're prototyping right now. Yeah. Prototyping, so that's when they put it on a trailer so that Mo Vlogs can test it out. Then maybe they wanna test it in Dubai for hot weather. That's That's gotta be it. Supercar Blondie's video is May 7th and Mo posted his video on May 27th you know, by my math calculations, that's exactly 20 days. That's that's probably enough time for Bugatti to make and deliver a second car. That seems pretty reasonable to me, right? So the f first real production car will be later on this year. Uh, so this guy's name is Frank Hale. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he is actually the designer of the Devo. So I'm gonna give this guy just a little bit of credibility. You don't even know what's happening right now. Ah, okay. Guys, oh my God. So I'm still a little bit confused because here's Mo standing in front of the Devo, I mean, next to the Devo, and he took delivery of it, it just came off a trailer. So there's gotta be like, well, let's look at the footage of it coming off the trailer. I, I, don't, I don't see the footage of it coming off the trailer. In Mo's other videos though, he's, getting cars delivered and they're on what appears to be the same trailer. 
Well, maybe they didn't have time. That's it. They didn't have time to get the Devo off the trailer because they're in a rush, it's the second car and all, and they just don't have time to film with it because they don't. Okay, so now he's talking and he's on one side and his sister's on the other side. Surely they're gonna walk in front of it at any point in this video, I, I would think. They're, they're not walking in front. But I know Mo, he's the kind of guy who likes to get inside of a car. He likes to do all kinds of videos inside a car and just show off the interior. So I'm sure he's gonna do that here. Whoa. They see me rolling. They I wanna see you rolling in the Devo. Yeah, that's that's what I wanna see. Everybody wants to see that. Come on, let's, let's, let's get with it. Okay, the, he, he didn't have time for the interior because they were in a, a big rush. This is insane. So this is what the back of the car looks like. <laughs> oh, this is totally normal. This is the way I film all my videos. Oh, you know, that damn autofocus. It's always broken. I can never get it right. Especially when I've got a cameraman who's apparently filming the video for me and didn't really notice that the autofocus was broken. Lana, switch it up. So this photo is from Bugatti. This is an official photo. And this one is Mo in front of the car. It looks a little flat, like some of my jokes, maybe. I kind of feel depressed right now. Me too. I thought you had an actual Devo, but apparently all you've really got is a render. and. That's kind of depressing. I mean, you know what else is really depressing is all the 13 year olds that are gonna leave really salty comments on this video. Well, I'm over it. So this Devil 16 thing, there's a lot of people that are making comments on my videos. They're alleging all kinds of stuff. They're alleging that I'm racist, that I'm anti-Arab, that I'm anti-Muslim and all this kind of nonsense. Look, I just wanna address this straight for a second. I never mentioned where the video was taken. I've never said anything derogatory about MoVlogs. I've never said anything derogatory about anybody in the videos. This is all in good fun. Look, MoVlogs is kind of a Jake Paul kind of character. He's having a lot of fun. I respect him for it being able to get all these views. Same with Supercar Blondie. She's not exactly my kind of thing, but I have a lot of respect for her. She's able to get views and she's got her audience and people really dig her. So that's totally cool. We're just having a little bit of fun here. No disrespect intended for all you crazy commenters. Sometimes I do videos on crazy, fake, and real supercars, but mainly I just focus on real sports cars. If you like that kind of stuff, I got a Discord chat, it's right down here. Go ahead and join us, it's absolutely free. I got another video right up here on the screen somewhere. Go ahead and click one. My name is Eric. I will see you in the next video.